Hey you guys, what's up? My name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming the biggest declutter I've literally ever done. Um, I don't know if I'll ever do one this big again, but I really have just been going through my collection, finding expired product, product that I don't like anymore, product that doesn't meet my preference, product that I've been hanging on to and they just don't work well for me. And I'm finally at a place where I'm just like, I'm gonna let it all go. So strap up, get yourself a beverage, a snack, because this is probably gonna be a long one. I have a lot of items to declutter. I'm filming this before I've actually started filming the declutter process. So there could possibly be two parts just depending on how long things take. But yeah, this declutter is massive. We have eyeshadow palettes, bronzers, blushes, highlighters, foundation, um, all the things. I really just gutted my whole collection. If you're new here, hi, my name is Megan. Please consider subscribing before you leave. And if you guys like declutters, if you like makeup, if you like me, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button just so that, you know, everyone else can find my channel. That's what helps that little bit of engagement. And yeah, let's go ahead and dive into this video. Okay, so I have like a crap ton of stuff and I'm just going to be pulling it as it comes like uh, out of the box. So there's not really going to be like a particular order or anything. I'm just going to be going through it as I pull it out. So the first item, if you're not new here, isn't really a surprise to you. It's going to be what was supposed to be my pan that palette, which is the, this palette is so big, it's going to be hard to get in the frame. Um, but is it, it's the James Charles X Morphe palette. This originally, like I said, was going to be my pan that palette. However, when I began using it and really focusing on it, um, I realized a lot of the shades were no longer good. Like the mattes, they had absolutely no pigment. They were blending out into nothing. Uh, the shimmers were getting extremely crumbly. I was having to like actually scrape product out of the mattes and mix them with a mixing medium to try and create some pigment to put on the lid. And even then, these shadows were having a really hard time mixing with the uh, pigment mixer. I don't know. Well, I do know why. I think the shadows have just expired. Um, I got this when it launched. So I don't know, like three years ago. Uh, I don't really, I don't support the creator anymore. And I was really just hanging on to this because it was a really nice, colorful palette and all in one. But because it's so big, I was never reaching for it. So that's why I was going to make it my PTP. And then about two weeks into that, I was like, man, these shades are not performing well. So um, I decided to go ahead and declutter it. So that's the first item. Um, and just as a disclaimer as well, all of the makeup that is still good, gently used or unused will be listed on my Maricari, um for a short amount of time. And then if it's not purchased over there, I will donate it. All of the expired makeup though, will be going in the trash. So I just wanted to uh, make that clear that if it's expired, I will be throwing it away, but everything else will hopefully be going to a new home. The next item I have is from Pixie, and this is their Honey Nectar Quad. I really did enjoy this for the time that I had it, and I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about it quite a bit as well. However, this bronzer, I think, is just starting to expire. It gets, like, super patchy on the skin, whereas it didn't before. And the main reason I was hanging on to this was for the bronzer and for the highlighter, but I'm really just not a powdered highlighter gal anymore. Um, you guys know that. I don't really use powdered highlight at all. It's just not my preference anymore. It makes my skin look more on the texture side, so... And I don't really use this shade of pink, so really, this, um, to me... I mean, I'm not going to use it anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. But yeah, really enjoyed this when I had it. The next item is from e.l.f. This is one of their Rosy Blush uh, Duos. I got this for free with a purchase one time. And this, I really loved this blush shade right here. But I think that it's starting to go bad. As you can see, we're starting to get a lot of texture and bumps in the product. 
And plus, I don't really use um, powder blush that much anymore. I never use this shade. I think it was supposed to be like a bronzer, but it's too light for me. So I decided to go ahead and let this one go because I was keeping it for the blush, but I don't really think it's good anymore. So I'm going to declutter this. The next item we have is from Honest Beauty. This is the uh, powder blush they have. This one's in the shade Flirty. I had received this in PR like last year, I think, and I really do enjoy these. This just isn't a shade that I reach for, and if I do, I don't typically reach for this particular blush. So I wanted to declutter this one because I think that it could hopefully go to a better home with someone that is going to be using it more frequently. The next item is from Urban Decay, and it is the Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator, so like a tinted moisturizer. I have the shade 30 Light. This was a pretty good shade for me, and this is one of those products that literally everybody loves, but I just didn't. I don't know what it was, but... I kept hanging on to this because I was really hoping that it would suddenly just decide to start working for me. Have you guys ever done that with any of your products? Like, I just kept hoping that it would work and it just keeps not working. This unfortunately gives me a lot of texture and it is more slippery on my skin than I personally prefer. So instead of hoarding it, hoping that it will work, um, I'm going to hopefully be able to get this one to a new home. The next item is the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. This one is in the shade Light. I love this tinted hydrator formula. However, this is not my shade. Um, my friend Becca was kind enough to send me two shades because it's weird. The shade Light is darker than the shade Light Medium. So the light medium shade works for me, but the light shade is much too dark. So I wanted to go ahead and get this out of my collection so that I can hopefully get it to someone who will be able to enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed my other one. Um, this is just so good. It dries down really nice. It spreads evenly. You don't get any brush strokes. It is long wearing. It's definitely a really great product that I really enjoy. The next product is from Sol de Janeiro. It's one of their Brazilian Kisses. This is the Tinted Lip Butter in the shade Teeny Bikini. I got this in a boxy charm and I was like really excited for it. But like one, it's all has like, I don't know if you guys can see, but it has all these little bumps all over it and textures that kind of remind me of the Jaclyn Hill launch. People said it would perform fine, um, and I did use it, and I just don't like the texture. It's super, like, waxy, and doesn't really look that great on my lips. It's hard to spread. It's definitely not what I would expect from, like, a tinted lip butter. It's not buttery at all. It's, like, hard and waxy, so... I'm definitely not going to use this and I'm just, I'm just going to declutter it. It's another one that I was hoping I would for some reason suddenly love, but like that's not going to happen. So yeah, she's got to go. The next product is newer to me. This one is from Merit. It is their complexion stick in the shade Silk. They sent me a few of these in PR. This one is the lightest shade that I got. I picked this up in hopes that it would make for a really nice concealer. However, it did not wear very well under my eyes. And I think this shade would be really too light for like my base. So instead of hanging on to it, I'm going to declutter it. And hopefully I'll be able to get it to a home where someone can use this and really enjoy it. Because like I said, that shade just isn't going to work for me all over my base. So hopefully someone else will get some good use out of it. The next item is from Tower 28. This is one of their lip jellies. This one is in the shade Oat. This is super new to my collection. I've only worn it one time. And when I wore it, it was just, it's too light for me. It gives the appearance of concealer lips on my skin tone. And I personally don't like that light of a lip formula on myself. I have a friend that really enjoys that look. So uh, luckily she's going to take this off my hands. Uh, I do love this formula. This shade is just too light for my preferences. The next item is a palette that I had depotted into the Z palette. It is the True and Luscious face palette. I had won it in a giveaway and the package came shattered. So I depotted it 
and I've had this for probably about a year now and I haven't really used it at all. Um, I've used the bronzers a handful of times. They're very pigmented. I have to go in with a really light hand. I've used the blush once or twice and then I've only swatched the highlighters. I always hang on to this because I feel like, oh, I'll use it. I need to give it a chance, blah, blah, blah. But like, I haven't used it and I'm not using it. It's just sitting around on my shelf. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's time to just finally let it go. It's not something I need in my collection. Um, a lot of the, the two highlighters are far too deep for me. So it's not really something that I think I'll be able to use, um, anyways so I've just decided it's time for it to go so yeah this one's going bye bye the next item is kind of just a mix match of stuff this was a depotted Tarte palette this was a depotted from a Kylie palette from a Morphe palette and then this was like a Purr Cosmetics palette I believe I won that in the same giveaway and the packaging came all busted as well so I depotted it into here and I have never used it. Um, I wish that it was in its original packaging so that I could give it away, but it's not. Um, and I just, I really don't reach for singles that often. So I really just curated my singles collection to a more um, obtainable amount to where like I would reach for those singles. These are ones that I haven't reached for in a long time. So I think that it's time that they just bow out of my collection. And like I said, this one, I've never used it. So it's just sitting around taking up space. So I'm going to let it go. The next product is a mascara. This is from Wonder Beauty. It's the Mile High Club. I know a lot of people really enjoy this. Um, this mascara claims to give you volume and length. And while I think it does give you length, it does not give me volume like at all. It also does not hold a curl in my lashes either. So while I love the volume this gets and how easily it is to remove from my lashes, it just doesn't give me enough volume. And when I look for a mascara, I want volume. So I haven't been reaching this at all since I opened my other one. So I'm just going to go ahead and declutter it because it's literally just sitting around on my vanity. The next item I'm going to declutter is the Celestial Thunder palette from Dominique Cosmetics. I have not <laughs> used this since not the past summer, but the summer before. So like over a year. While I think this is really pretty, I think that that shade is stunning. This just isn't a palette that I reach for literally like ever. The shades are beautiful. The mattes are pigmented. They pack a punch. The shimmers are stunning. This is actually a duo chrome. It flips from like pink to orange once you get it on the lid. It's really unique. But like I just don't use it. It just sits on my shelf. So maybe there's someone else who would enjoy this more and actually get some really good use out of it. The next item I'm decluttering is the Natasha Diamond and Blush Palette. I won this in a giveaway like, I don't know, close to a year ago and I have yet to use it, you guys. Um, it's just not something like color wise that calls to me. I've swatched all the shades and I've used a little bit of this on my eye before, really pretty, really sparkly. But I really just don't use highlighters. I'm not, I don't really know. I don't think that this purple would look good on me. I'm not into super bright blushes. So I think while these creams are still good, I would love to find a home where someone is really going to get some use out of this. Because like I said, it's literally just been, you know, sitting on my shelf. And that's why I want to do this big declutter because I have so much makeup that's just been sitting around because I don't like love it. So I want to, you know, get rid of it and try to find someone else who is really gonna enjoy it and really get some use out of it. So yeah, I don't even know if this is good. I haven't, I haven't tried it out, but hopefully someone else will, you know, fall in love with it. The next item I have is my Scott Barnes Contour Palette. This got a decent amount of use when I first got it. However, I more recently pulled it out to be in my bi-weekly makeup basket and the shades were just way too cool for my preference. I thought this one, this one, and this one were more warm toned or at least that is what I had recalled. However, they all pull so cool on me and I'm not really a contour 
type of gal. I'm more of a bronzer gal. So, you know, when I can get about half of these to work for me, it was worth keeping on my collection. But now that I don't really feel like any of them work for me, it's not worth hanging on to. Especially because, like, you know, when I resell this on Maricari, it's literally going to be, like, dirt cheap. And I feel like someone who is, like, an MUA or, you know, does makeup for people pretty often on the side would really enjoy this, having it in their kit and using it. Whereas, like, mine's just sitting around and I don't love it. So, yeah, this one is gonna go. Next up, we have a little bit of skincare. This is the Shiseido Benefits Wrinkle Smoothing uh, Contour Serum. This is like a retinol based and I got this through Influencer. And while I like the way that this product performs, the scent is like way too strong for me. I don't like, I'm not really into fragranced products. I can live with something that has like a light fragrance, but this is so strong that like it'll give you a girl a headache. So I don't reach for it. I don't use it. I wanted to because, you know, retinol, but it just isn't something. I just cannot stand the scent. So yeah, this is going to go. The next item is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. This is the oldest piece of makeup in my collection. And I think I'm finally ready to let it go. This has gotten, I know it may not look like it, but honestly, this has gotten a lot of really great use. I've worn this palette to a lot of concerts. It's been a really great like segue for me into color. I absolutely love that bright pink shadow. Uh, I have had this for about six years though, so it's just starting to not really perform like it used to. And it's not something that I reach for very often, maybe once a year. So I think that I'm finally ready to just lay this palette to rest. Um, you know, it's not really a color story that I reach for. Sentimental is getting me right now. I'm like, oh, Megan, but it's the oldest palette in your collection. But, like, I don't need to hang on to it um, just for that reason. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let this baby go. Um, thanks for all the good times. Thanks for the intro to color. And thanks for being you, my little Urban Decay electric palette. The next item I'm going to declutter is from KKW Beauty. This is a gloss, uh, Nude 1.5. I really like her glosses. This shade is just really light for me. Um, it's something that I was kind of hanging on to because I could use it as like a topper to brighten the lips, blah, blah, blah. But like how often do I really do that? Almost fucking never. <laughs> so it's just taking up space in my lipstick thing that is very like overpopulated. So I'm going to just go ahead and let this one go. Um, I've had it for a while anyway. It's probably coming up on its expiration date if I had to guess. But yeah, so going to let her go. The next item is from Good Molecules and this is their niacinamide serum. Um, I've used a good amount of it and I was trying to like finish it up, but I just don't want to use it. Honestly, but if I use this and the niacinamide toner, it's too much niacinamide for my skin and it causes some um, dryness, redness, irritation. So um, I'm not, I don't think this is bad on its own. I just think for my skin type with this and with the niacinamide toner, it's too much niacinamide for my skin personally. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and declutter this item because I just use their... Uh, Hyaluronic Acid Serum. That is my favorite. Holy Grail. So hydrating. So I don't use this. Um, I'm going to declutter it. The next item is a couple years old. I actually had gotten this for Christmas. It is the KVD Alchemist Holographic Palette. And while this is cool and I really like the concept, I think that it's like very pretty. This is not something that I ever reach for. Like that's just... It's not the kind of makeup that I do. Like, I can do that makeup, and it's so much fun. But, like, I really want to curate my collection to be, like, what I'm using on a more frequent basis. And then have, like, a smaller section for creativity and fun makeup. Um, and while, you know, curating that smaller collection, this isn't something that made the cut. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'll let this one go. The next item is from Soul Body. This is their champagne, pink champagne highlighter. And this is really pretty. Um, and I've even hit pan on it. It's just not... I just don't use powdered highlighter anymore, you guys. 
Um, I think it makes my skin look textured. And this shade uh, only really works for me in the summertime because like right now it's far too gold for my skin tone. I have tried wearing it on the eyes and it looks pretty, but it does crease after only a couple hours. So I can't really get use out of it that way either. I love the huge mirror that comes with this. It's so like, look at this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a good mirror. It's a really good mirror. And that almost makes like, that almost makes it worth it to just keep it like, and honestly, I might depot this and keep this as like a compact with the mirror because the mirror in here is so, so good. But I'm just, I'm not really into highlighters. So that's going to go. Speaking of highlighters, the Deck of Scarlet, um, these are their mirror glaze. This one just shade Peachy King. Um, these have a, like a, I don't want to say liquid, but they have like a more loose type of highlighter in the bottom there. And then it has on the top as a powder highlighter. Maybe can I oh. Yeah, it has a powder highlight. And these are so freaking beautiful. But again, I don't use powdered highlighter. So that's why I'm gonna declutter it because I think someone else would really love this so much more. So why why should I hang on to it, you know? I do have another one of those. Um, it is in the shade Rosé All Day. Same situation on the bottom. This is a top. So, so beautiful. Like, ugh, these are so stunning. The swatches I did with them and the photos turned out so stinking beautiful. But I just don't use powder to highlight, you guys. Like, I, after this um, declutter, I will literally have one powdered highlighter in my collection like that that is how serious i am about like i don't i don't wear powdered highlighter anymore i just i just don't the next item is a little eyeshadow uh duo it's an elman beauty this was actually decluttered to me by a friend and i did use it one time and i think that this shade is so so pretty very stunning but it's not something that i reach for and it's just kind of been sitting around so while this is pretty and I really enjoyed it, I think I'm going to go ahead and let it go because it's kind of just one of those things that, you know, takes up space for me to only use once a year and I'm trying to do less of that. So I'm going to declutter this one. The next item is from Milani. This is their blush trio in the shade Floral Fantasy. I use the fuck out of this for like the longest time and like you really wouldn't even be able to tell. Like, look how much product is still left. Like, it gives me so much more, um, I guess I just feel so much more for the people who have, like, panned the single blushes of this, like, formulation because I used a ton of this and, yeah, it's like they're, they haven't moved. Like, I haven't even worn the stuff off. Uh, but I did pull this out the other day, and I think the formula is just getting a little stiff. I had to really work my brush into that product to get any kind of payoff. And I've had this for like three or four years. Um, so I think it's just the formula is ready to give up, which is totally fair. I mean, the shelf life on this, if I had it, okay, 24 months, two years, and I've had it for three to four. So it did last longer. I'm just really not into powdered blush anymore. Um, and this was kind of losing its pigmentation. The next product is the ColourPop. Um, these are the Super Shock Cheek in the shade uh, Seismic or Seismic. I'm not sure. And I love the texture of this. It's so unique. It is so pretty. But this is way too blinding as a highlighter on me and does not look cute. I used it on the eyes and it gets creasy. Really the only thing it's good for on me is like an inner corner highlight or like a brow bone but even then it's kind of blinding for my personal preference so I'm thinking that maybe someone over on my IG fam would like this I don't know because some of the stuff that I'm not going to sell on my Ricari, I'm going to like put it on Instagram and people can like do bundles of stuff and I'll send it to them so this is going to be one of those items that I'm going to go ahead and let go because I know myself and I know that I'm not going to reach for this. 
The next item is the Half Caked Lippy in the shade Thing Song. I love this shade and I got a lot of use out of this when I first got it. And then I've kind of really just stopped enjoying matte lipsticks as a whole. I'm really into gloss or um bullet lipsticks like that's my preference now and this one's just getting uh, a bit drying and sticky i mean i have had them for over a year i'm not sure i'm not sure what the date is on these expo date but i have had them for at least a year so i think that that's why the formula is just going off a bit and getting a bit sticky so i'm decluttering this one random ass lashes that i'm decluttering um, I never ever wear false lashes like I'm just too lazy they take too much time I refuse so I used to keep these like stashed back for just in case but it's been two years and I haven't had a just in case moment so I'm just gonna go ahead and pitch these they're taking up room um, I do have like one pair set aside for just in case but I don't need to keep this whole thing the next palette I'm gonna be decluttering is the Kylie Cosmetics palette. This is a burgundy one. I've had this for probably four years, maybe five. This was my pan that palette for 2020 and this is what it looks like. Um, this is the only shade I haven't been able to hit pan in. I pulled this out more recently because I was like, oh, maybe I'll try to hit pan in this shade. But honestly, the, um, the formula is starting to get a little bit of like white buildup. So I think it might be going off, which is totally understandable. I just don't really think that it's good anymore. Um, and honestly, I have so many other palettes that I can pull shades like this from now. And this served its purpose. It got a ton of use and I really loved it. But it's definitely time to let it go so that I can make room for some of my other stuff in my collection. The next item is from Half Caked. This is their candy paint in the shade Morning View. Uh, I was planning to completely pan this. And as you guys can see, I mean, I got I got pretty close. I was probably a month-ish away from consistent use to completely using it up. But it really just started to look so, so bad on me. I'll insert a photo over here of what it looked. But it was pulling like a green blue shade. It literally looked like I had a bruise on my face. And so due to that, like I was like, fuck it. I'm going to declutter it because I don't want to be walking around looking like my cheekbones are bruised. I don't know why the formula just went off or what was going on. But it uh, definitely doesn't look good anymore. So I'm decluttering it. The next product I'm going to declutter is from Scott Barnes. This is the gloss and the shade coins. Oh, I want to kick myself because honestly, I've only worn this a few times, but I've had it for like two years and the formula is just that sticky, gross feeling that gloss gets when it goes bad. If you know, then you know. Um, and that's the feeling that this has, that sticky, gross, like glossy, expired feeling. So... I'm going to declutter her. I did a little bit of looking around because I knew I had another one. This one is in the shade Swaggy. I wore this one more. It's like a really, really pretty light pinky purple nude. But again, it's just like thick and sticky and ucky. So I think the formula is bad. Like I said, I want to kick myself because these were really expensive glosses. And I obviously didn't get the use that I wanted to out of them, but, um, yeah, they're expired now, so away they go. <laughs> the next product is from Half Caked. This one is in the shade Low Key. This was actually decluttered to me, uh, from our friend, and this, I know, has gone bad. It gets, like, a super, it's, like, mattified to the point where it, like, hurts your lips because it's so dry, but in the middle, like, it'll have a strong stick to where, like, it almost feels like my lips are going to get stuck together. So I think that this formulation has definitely just expired. The formula um, was good and the shade is so beautiful. But um, yeah, it's just not, it's expired and it doesn't, it's not something that feels good on my lips anymore. The next product is from Rare Beauty. This is the uh, liquid luminizer in the shade Flaunt. I love the packaging on this and I really liked this when I first got it and then I didn't use it for about a year 
and now I don't like it anymore. Um, I pulled it out and it just wasn't blending out the way that I wanted it to. I was getting a pretty um, solid streak or just like a solid beam on my cheeks and that, that's not really, that's not what I'm into anymore. That's not my preference. So instead of hoarding it, um, I'm hoping that someone else will really want this or want to try it or really likes it and just wants like a different shade. So that is my thought on this product. Um, I used to love it, but just not doing it for me anymore. And that's okay. That happens sometimes. Our makeup preferences change. Next up, I have this little flower beauty blush. This is something that I have never even used. It's literally... It's brand new, um, but it's just not something that I have reached for. I've swatched it one time, and it was really pretty. It's just like if I'm reaching for a blush, this isn't the one I'm reaching for, and I've had it for several months now, um, probably going in close to like a year. So I think it's time to let it go out of my collection if I'm still like actively not using it. Okay, the last half-caped lippy, I thought there was another one in there. This one is the shade Bamboo Banga. Love this one. I love this shade. Again, I just think that, you know, the formula is expiring. It's very drying on the lips. Has a really strong stick in the middle. So it's not something that I reach for because it is so uncomfortable on the lips now. So yeah, this is going in with her sisters. So they're going to get all decluttered together. The next items are really new to me. They're the Glam Light lippies that just came they just came out with um I think I kept no I must have put another one in a giveaway um but I've swatched all these but I haven't worn them I really didn't like the shades as much as I thought I would they were pulling way too warmy brown tone on me so I know that I'm just like not gonna wear them so I decided to declutter them because I'm really hoping that I could find someone else who really loves these or wanted to try these um, because they're just not, after I swatch them, they're not items that I'm going to reach for. And like, obviously I wasn't going to put them in a giveaway since they'd been swatched, but I am closer with some girls in the community who would probably be comfortable with trying these after a swatch. So I'm hoping that Someone will want them and they will, you know, be able to get the love that they deserve and they will enjoy them. Next up, we have my Honest Beauty blushes. I've had these for two years and they're creams. I have the shade Coral Peach. And I decided to declutter this one because one, I've had it for a while. It's getting like pretty old and it's starting to get a scent, um, which I didn't notice because I haven't used it in so long. But it's starting to get stinky, which, I mean, is understandable. What's the shelf life? A year, and I've had them for two. I'm actually quite shocked that they didn't go bad a lot sooner because usually cream products do. But I really didn't start having a problem with this until I was decluttering my collection here recently and was, like, smelling my creams. And this is one that didn't smell good. This is another one, which leads me to believe that these, like, just went off. Like, they had to have just went off because I had this in my project pan at the end of 2021. And my goal was to hit pan because I felt like, you know, we were probably getting close to the expiration. And at that time when I was using it, I didn't notice any kind of odor or, like, performance difference. Uh, but now that I've opened them, they stink. So they just more recently went off. But like these are such a good bang for your buck. You get so much product. And these are really um, beginner friendly creams. I've really loved these. These are my first cream blushes ever. I picked these up on Tati's recommendation. And boy oh boy was it a slippery fucking slope you guys. Now it's like cream blush or bust. Like I love creams so, so much. So yeah, these are like kind of sentimental because they started my cream journey. Now I love cream highlight, bronzer, blush, all the things. But um, I am, I'm not going to keep them just, you know, for that reason because they are expired. So I'm going to let them go. Next up are these two heavy metals from Urban Decay. I loved these, and these actually got quite a bit of use. This one was almost empty, um, but as you can maybe see, like, it's separated, has a liquid down there, and it's all, like, dried to the side. 
I've legit had this for probably five or six years, so I'm shook that it even lasted um, as long as it did. I probably haven't used this in a year or so. It was in my Rotate My Stash, I think, last year. Or fuck, maybe it was even the year before. Um, but yeah, this is definitely expired. This product is also expired. You can see like the color differentiation and all the separation. Um, hopefully, I mean, maybe you can't. But either way, this is... Um, the shelf life is six months and I've had it for like two years, but I really did enjoy this. Um, these are definitely something that I would repurchase if I had like a specific event to go to and to wear them to. These would definitely be on my list of items to pick back up for like a festival or something. The next item is this Bobby Brown Cracker. Um, this one's in the shade, what's that say? Bisque? I was gonna say skin and I was like, that's not right. I recently just got this from Octoly and I hated it. I've only used it once, so hopefully someone else will be able to get some use out of it and will like it, but I used it one time and I really didn't like it, so I'm trying to be better about getting rid of stuff that I've used and I don't like. I have a tendency to hold on to things thinking that, you know, oh, maybe if I try it again, I'll like it or maybe I'll like it better next time, but like... That has so far not been the case. If I didn't like it at first, I still don't like it later. So I'm trying to get better about decluttering those items that, you know, initially I don't like. And I'm trying to declutter them more quickly so that um, other people can try them out and maybe get some good use out of them before they go bad. So yeah. Another item is going to be this Pat McGrath highlighter. Um, this one's in the shade Golden Nectar. This is so, so pretty. And my good friend decluttered this to me. However, um, it's just like too deep on me and I believe that's why she decluttered it to me as well. It's too deep for her skin tone and this like kind of works for me in the summer. I can get away with it, but for the majority of the time when it's cold, which that's what it is where I live, um, it pulls too deep. Plus, like I said, you guys, I just don't wear powdered highlighter anymore. Um, it's just not my jam. So hopefully someone else will be able to get some really good use out of this. The next items are from ColourPop. These are their Just a Tense. I have the shades uh, Wakiki and Give Me Some More. I really did enjoy these. I've had these for about two years and they've expired. They smell um, pretty bad. I opened them up and I was like, what? <laughs> There's not anything growing on them or anything, but they are stinky. So I'm going to let them go. Um, they have gotten quite a bit of use, even though you can't really tell. I'm so shocked when I see that people pan these because I'm like, how? There has to be so much freaking product in there. It's crazy. But yeah, I really did enjoy these. They were really great, you know, just a tent kind of product. I have other products that I enjoy more now, so I wouldn't repurchase these. But yeah, I'm going to declutter them. The next product is this Danessa Myricks Color Fix. Uh, this is a, one of the foils. This is the shade Rocket. One of my friends decluttered two of these to me, and this is the shade that I don't ever really use. So I have a friend that loves Danessa Myricks, and I'm hoping that maybe she will want this in her collection because um, it's just been sitting around in mine. I've swatched it, and every time I swatch it, it's so beautiful, so I hang on to it, but I've never even used it on my fucking eyes. So I was like, you know what? I just need to let it go, get it out of here, be done with it, and just someone else will get so much more love out of this. The next item I have is one of my super shocks. This is the shade Party of Five. This is just dry. <laughs> She's a dry batch. Um, I did some swatches and stuff and made some content with these that'll be coming. I don't know if it'll even be up on IG yet by the time this goes up, but I did some really pretty content with these. But while doing that, I realized how flippin' dry this thing is, especially compared to like my newer ones. It's like desert dry. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. It's something that I literally never use anyway. So I'm just going to let it go. The next item is my Dose of Colors Concealer. Um, I'm letting this go because I think it's expiring. Um, the color is changing and I mean, I've had it for over a year, so it's past its shelf life. And since I use it under the eyes where it's a more sensitive area, I don't want to risk it. Um, I know some people might think it's fine and that's okay. Like you can choose what you want to put under your eyes and I can choose what I want to put under my eyes. 
and I don't want to put a product under my eyes where it's so sensitive where the formulation has obviously changed enough to cause that kind of discoloration so I'm gonna declutter it. The next item is this mascara from Solik. This was sent to me in PR. Um, one, this is waterproof and I don't like waterproof mascaras. Um, I think this brush is super nice. I like the packaging, but this just did nothing for my lashes. I wish that it would have, but it just didn't do anything for them. Um, no volume, no length. It just coated them basically. And you guys know that's not my preference. So I'm going to let her go. Next item I have is this Jouer Blush and Bloom Stick. This one is in the shade Celebrate Me. And I love this formula a lot. I actually have it in another color. However, I just don't like these particular shades on my skin tone um, anymore. So it's not something that I ever reach for. And I tried it out more recently. Just, again, hoping that maybe I would feel differently and I would like it. But I don't. So that being said, I'm going to declutter this and I'm excited because I already have a friend that wants this. So I know that it'll be going to a good home, which also just makes me feel better about like decluttering stuff in general, knowing that it's going to go somewhere. The next product is skincare. This is the Fresh Floral Calming Mask from Fresh. I recently got this from Octoly and like I was so excited. Um, the packaging is so sleek, so pretty. I love the color. The texture of this is gorgeous. It has a super light, calming lavender scent. However, my skin did not like this. Um, with continued use, it was increasing the redness and sensitivity of my skin. And this was the only thing I had rotated in, the only change that I'd done to my skincare. That's what I do when I'm trying out skincare. I'm only rotating that one new product in. So I know it was this causing it and... I don't want to hang on to it if it's doing that to my skin, especially when someone else could potentially get this and really love it. So I'm going to just declutter it. Okay, you guys, I know this is getting long, so I'm trying to like do some groupings to maybe help a little bit because um, I don't know if you guys are getting tired of watching this. But I have this um, Ilia Lippy that was gifted to me by my friend in the shade Only You. Um, I've only swatched this, but it just, I don't like the um, color on my skin tone. It's too, like, bright pinky for my personal preference. So, I'm really hoping a friend will like this. I did try this out for Influencer. It's the Revlon Cover Color Stay Satin Ink. And while I enjoyed this formula and I thought that I liked the shade on me, I watched back a YouTube video that I wore this in. I think it was, like, my um, Project Pan, like, wrap-up for 2021. And I hated the way it looked. I was like, oh my gosh, what a thin lippy am I wearing? Because it looks so bad on me. And it was this one. So this shade just doesn't look good on me. So declutter. This is the Dose of Colors Lip Revival Lip Balm. Um, I really enjoyed this when I first got it. But I got this in the same batch as my other Dose of Colors concealer that after three months it was turning multiple different colors um and this smells and I haven't even had it a year so I think that it's already expired which I don't purchase from Doso Colors anymore because I just had a bad customer service experience and frankly if they're selling products it's going to expire in three months like that's that's not my vibe um we had a similar situation with this so I, I'm not a fan of Dose of Colors. Um, so yeah, declutter. I also have this, which is um, from Revolution, The Nightmare Before Christmas. It was a part of that Halloween collab. Uh, I've worn this a handful of times. It's a really pretty bronze lip, but it's just not something that I ever, ever reach for. So I'm just getting it out of my collection. I also got this in like a Tri Beauty box, which I thought like one, okay, the packaging is super pretty. And I overall like the way that this feels for the most part. It's a little more like oily than I would prefer. Um, but because it's a transforming lip oil, this turns my lips like a pretty bright shade of pink that I'm really just not into. So I'm just going to let it go instead of letting it sit around in my collection. The next product is from RMS Beauty. This is, what even is this? The Living Glow face and body powder. Um, and this is so pretty. This just, um, 
Oh, I don't want to spill it. You guys I need to focus. This is so pretty, but it's just so, the shade is so deep and they only have one shade, or at least they did when I reviewed this. They only have one shade and it's supposed to be universal, but it's really not because it's too deep for me unless I have like a real nice tan. Um, and it's just not a product in general that I reach for. So hopefully someone else will be more into this. I don't know. The next product I have is from Jouer. This is the Molten Glow Highlighter. I used to love this one and I got like quite a bit of use out of it. But when I wore it more recently, um, I just don't like the way that powdered highlight looks on my skin anymore. It, you know, emphasizes my texture in a way that my like, um, in a way that my Fido Spectral Shines don't. Whereas these give me a really nice airbrushed glow. Now powdered highlights look even more just like textured and not good on my skin and I don't ever reach for them So I'm I'm gonna let it go even though it's beautiful and I was obsessed. I'm gonna let it go The next product is a Shiseido sink Oh my gosh, Shiseido sink Synchro skin radiant lifting foundation from Shiseido. Um, I got this a year ago and I loved it. The shade is 160 shell, which was quite literally perfect for me. I wore this so, so much and then I switched to something else, the Huda Beauty foundation stick. <laughs> and I hadn't really been using this, but I pulled it back out because I want... <sighs> Sorry, I had a yawn sneak up on me, but I pulled it back out because I really wanted to um, finish this this year because I loved it and I wanted to get some use out of it. And it does have a 24 month shelf life and I've had this open for a year. However, this smells so bad, you guys. Um, it smells bad. It breaks up after about six hours, whereas it did not do that before. And it also caused me to break out. So I think that this expired and it's just not good anymore, unfortunately. Um, so I would be mindful of that if you also have this foundation. It's probably not going to live up to the two year shelf life that it claims, unfortunately. But yeah, so I'm decluttering this one is from KKW. This is one of the lippies in the shade 90s fashion. And this is newer to me. I got this when she was like announcing that her brand was doing a rebrand. But this shade, like one, okay, her matte formula is drying as fuck. But this shade is way just like too deep and gingery for me. The other one is at least a little bit lighter and I can pair with like a um, dark liner and it looks nice. But this shade just isn't it for me. It's like a warm ginger color and that just doesn't look good on my skin tone. So I'm going to let it go. The next thing I received in PR, um, it's this Subtle Beauty Stack. I think that if you're someone that really loves light makeup, light coverage makeup, you would love this. But like that's not my, that's not my personal preference. The concealer was too light coverage for me. The lip and cheek was a really, like, it was a really nice wash of color, but I had to build it up a lot to my preference. I really love the bronzer. I don't use powdered highlight, as you guys know. And then I didn't even try the eyeshadow because I really just was like, I don't think that this stack is suitable to my preferences. I have other friends that I think would really love this because it's just quick compact easy to go um but like if i'm doing my makeup i'm typically doing a full beat so this really just didn't um like mesh with my preferences so i'm gonna let it go hopefully another friend will want this the next item that is super new to my collection is the milk makeup uh their new uh bionic bronzer I hate this. Um, it's a really thick, moussey texture that's almost difficult to get out of the um, little top here. And once you squeeze it out, like you barely need any at all. But it like, it a little goes such a long way. Um, but I found this to be pretty finicky. It would get patchy. Um, it was a bit difficult to blend out, I think because of the moussey texture. And I think it would probably be best if you had time to like warm it up on your hand and then go in with it. 
which just is not something that I have time to do or want to do in the morning. So I'm hoping that a friend will want to give this a go because it is just not it for me, girl. Not it. Next, I have an eyeshadow palette. This is a California Love by ColourPop. Um, this, ooh. <laughs> This is so pretty. I still love this color story. I'm a freaking sucker for it. Um, but I did pull this out the other day and this glitter is getting like gross, like gooey gro uh, gross. Um, and then the mattes are just getting like really not like powdery, but you know, like chalky. That's the word I'm looking for, chalky. So I just think that it's going bad, which like you can tell it's getting pretty textured some of the shades which is fine I mean I've had it for like two and a half three years so it's understandable um it's just like yeah when I pulled it out I was like oh ew like this this is not not good anymore so I'm going to let this one go next up we have the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer this was in my latest shot my stash video so you're probably like what the fuck that was quick yeah I know it was quick um I use this I wanted to get it out because when I'd used it before, I thought it looked like red or pink on my skin and I got it out and I've been using it pretty consistently and it does pull really pink on my skin tone. I didn't feel like it used to do that, but it's doing that now and I don't like that. Um, I really did enjoy like the dry down and everything of this product. I really loved it when I first got it, but the shade just like isn't driving with me right now. Um, I have one, two in, so I'm not really sure why it's pulling pink since it's like a neutral undertone, but if you have a neutral undertone, then you fucking know how that goes. Um, everything pulls yellow or pink. So yeah, I'm, I'm letting that go. The next item is also new to me. It's a milk makeup. Um, this is the hydro grip. I put it, I put it back in the box. I don't know why. I don't know where that cut me off because the dogs were barking. Um, but yeah, the Hydro Grip Primer. Um, I used this twice and it smells gross to me like a latex kind of situation. So I didn't like that. Um, and then also it was just like finicky. Like the one day I used it, it looked okay. The next day I used it, it was more like textured. So I think I'm just going to see if someone else wants it who would get better use out of it and actually really enjoy it the next product i have is the beach smitten in switzerland palette um you just saw this in my shot my stash as well i was able to hit a few more pans as you can see mountain uh montreux and then uh geneva so two four i was able to hit six pans on this and then i just decided like fuck it i have so many other palettes that i like so much better and while I did used to absolutely love this one, I just think it's expiring. Um, I've had it for two years. The mattes are not performing well. The um, shimmers aren't doing bad, but like I just don't, I won't ever really reach for a blue and I suck at using pinky colors and I don't use a lot of cool tones either. So I just decided to like cut my losses, let this go. Um, you know, I've gotten my use out of it. It's not like it wasn't loved. So I think that it's just time to lay it to rest. So yeah, you guys, we decluttered a ton of freaking makeup and some skincare today. And I honestly just feel so much better getting it out of my collection. And I'm really excited to you know, go ahead and start reorganizing what I have and continuing to test out products in my collection. That's what I've really been loving the whole Shop My Stash concept for. Uh, but I think we're off to a really great start in weeding out, you know, what I don't like, what I don't use, and what has expired. So I'm really excited for, you know, this year's journey and all the items that I'm going to be able to use up and just give to people who are going to use them more. Um, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, just make sure you subscribe before you leave and hit that big thumbs up button. Uh, I appreciate you guys and I hope you have an awesome day.